Today, we are doing opening day of Vail and Brackenridge, Colorado. So if you plan on riding this weekend, I'm gonna show you exactly what they have open, what's the vibe, and exactly where you should go. So on that note, let's uh, jump on the gondola and go vibe. So we did start in the village. You're gonna walk all the way through the village and end up at Gondola One. Once you get on Gondola One, it is about an eight to 12 minute ride. It's not bad at all. And then you're gonna make this large traverse across the hill. Whether you're a skier or a snowboarder, definitely keep your speed up so that you can make it to the chair. The left lines were not bad at all. And the runs are absolutely beautiful. So once you get to the top of this chair for early season, you have the option of going left and right. I went left and saw my boy Nino. We got to buy with him a little bit, but as we cruise down, you are absolutely gonna notice that the run is massive it is super wide and you have a lot of real estate to play around this video was taking at 9 30 in the morning friday november 10th for opening day and i just wanted to point out how much space there was it was incredible you just had so much room to vibe make your ski or snowboard turns and you had a lot of options and a lot of good time so it was really fun and then you're going to notice that the terrain here has a little bit of steepness i am picking up a little bit of speed but if you are new to skiing or snowboarding you're going to notice it does get quite flat and you don't have a lot of options so make sure that you're traversing you have a nice edge and you're able to lock it in so you can keep up your speed unfortunately these guys were having a little bit of a trouble but not a big deal because once they make it around this corner it becomes a lot more fun a little bit more steep you will be taking a left here this is your only option now note that this is a slow zone so just be aware that this top section uh, is pretty flat relatively speaking and then it does get quite steep for um, just being a green run so please be aware of that I also love riding in the Sun because I'm able to read the train a little bit better and and the texture of this snow so definitely hang out in the sun if you're going to be riding here again this is at 9 30 in the morning shades a little bit long with that said uh, a little bit of picking up speed playing around a little bit enjoying the fresh beautiful air at Vail Colorado snow conditions were mostly man-made with a little bit of soft on top but it was a bit of a firm base but there was no struggles on holding an edge or anything and then this is my dude Nino he was vibing but he's also aware of everything going on around him so he saw this person was going a little slow and i love how he backed it down just to be safe so big prop to the boy nino for that and then as we cruise i absolutely had to take a minute to enjoy this view i freaking love the views at vale uh fun little fact for you that don't know i grew up outside of vale um definitely did not grow up in vale by any means but definitely spent thousands of days riding here so we may have to come back and show you some really fun spots so again the main run it remains to be quite wide here on the right hand side you could go enter the maze it was quite packed so I decided to go traverse across the hill of course paying attention to traffic and people but I was able to keep my speed up and get a nice little hack of going to the less busy side of chair four also of course known as mountaintop express this is a six person chair so you can definitely get your whole crew with you if you want and we are back at the top of the chair lift and at the time of recording on opening weekend there was only the option to go left or right and this time we're gonna go right on rams horn run this is a blue run which means we can you know let it go a little bit faster and have a little bit more fun i believe this lodge is open i did not check but as a snowboarder or a skier this is a great place to strap in or just hang out before it gets going so we're going to be cruising down this run you're going to notice this run is a little bit more narrow not because of the restriction of the snow but just because that's the way ram's horn is uh, but again it is literally snow from edge to edge good job on the snow making a big shout out to Vail and all the employees that are working hard so that we can go have the absolute most amazing day ever. Now, as we keep cruising down, you're going to notice that it gets really sunny. I am trying to stay in the sun once again. And these two runs do merge here. There's a little catwalk to go from that side back over to Ram's Horn. And then I'm picking up a little bit of speed. Still plenty of space to hang out and vibe and ride. Uh, early season is, in my opinion, is definitely the not the time to be ducking ropes or trying to cut ropes or, or like break any of those kind of rules because you don't want to be losing your pass so early and then like I said on this run is blue a little bit more playful a little bit more speed there is some rollers which I did jump just a little bit ago here again the conditions are primarily 
gonna be that snow making or man-made snow which actually doesn't feel that bad it may be a little bit more bumpy but not a big deal at all which was um super fun super surprising on how awesome the conditions were in the previous week of the opening to Vail, it was like 60 degrees every day so it was really challenging for the employees and snowmakers to make snow so i'm extremely blown away on actually how good the conditions are at Vail, and it is a little bit lower of an elevation so temperatures up there is going to be different compared to like summit county and Breck, which we're going to go visit here in a little bit so on that note we're going to keep on cruising down this run i'm going to keep up a little bit of speed but be respectful so that i don't get yelled at by yellow jackets but i am actually going to have to go across the run underneath chair three and cruise up towards the gondola because there there is no way to ride down you must download the gondola so if you're going to be riding veil vale this weekend and you're on a bit of a time crunch just take it in consideration that you do have to download at the end of the day all right my dude that's gonna be our two runs here at veil vale. now let's hop in the gondola and then we're gonna go to breckenridge let's go and when you arrive to Breckenridge, you are looking for the gondola and there's a bunch of parking next to it. You will have to pay for parking, but if you have four people or more, you can ask a parking lot attendant for a discount for carpooling. Big shout out to them for that. With that said, you're gonna go up multiple stops and you are looking for peak eight. Once you are on peak eight, you will exit and see everyone just like this. And this was recorded on Friday, November 10th, around 11 a.m. All right, we're at Breckenridge, Colorado for opening day. What a vibe, definitely good energy. And there's a brand new chair. So if you're familiar with Breckenridge, there was a five chair that had a beginner two seat fixed grip really slow. But right now, it's not. So we're gonna go check that out first and then we'll go ride the other side. Let's go. It's gonna be a sick time. What's up, boss? Let's go. Before we actually go up Breckenridge, I'm gonna shout out today's sponsor and it's gonna be Benetech. It's my goggles and hoodie company. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel at all, we definitely have some awesome stuff and the focus is quality, making it sick. And these are like literally the most waterproof thing ever. It's pretty awesome. But on that note, we're gonna go vibe. Let's go. And this should be a little bit of an inside scoop from what I've heard. Normal park underneath Breckenridge, known as Park Lane, has now moved to one run over, and that run is called Freeway. Park Lane is going to be a little course where you can race and vibe. It's going to be underneath the chairlift. It's going to be a good time. But if you want to hit park, they're moving the park. And the rumor is they're going to have a half pipe back, which they haven't had in a bit. And then there should be some really progressive parks outside of peak eight there's going to be a couple other options where in the past there may have been a very limited selection it sounds like there's going to be some emphasis on bringing parks back at breckenridge and make sure you subscribe because if that's the case you know we're going to come back here do some videos on breckenridge showing you all sorts of fun stuff including the park the mountain and the vibe we're going to cruise up we're going to do a top to bottom of chair five and then we're going to go over to colorado chair do a top to bottom so if you end up riding you know exactly what they're opening up with let's go and once you get to the top of chair five essentially there is one run from the top of the mountain down and this essentially is going to be a midway point at this current time of like opening weekend but it is going to be a little bit busier here if you're not familiar there is a major city which is going to be denver colorado makes it a little bit more accessible to get to the breckenridge and keystone area Vail is another 35 to 40 minute drive so definitely going to be a little bit busier not the biggest deal in the world but make sure that you do pay attention to everyone around you i did know Noticed that there was a significant gap in skill there was a lot of people having the first time snowboard experience and then a bunch of people who are absolute rippers having a good time as we go down the conditions are going to be a lot softer less man-made snow feeling underneath the board on the right hand side there was like some fun side hits some little jibs some natural terrain to play where on the left hand side was extremely groomed which was nice to have a little bit of a variety of terrain there was even this fun little jump bump slash here that was a good time so again this isn't everything on the run we're going to cruise over to the left now which is going to be a lot more predictable a lot more maintained conditions wise it was feeling good underneath the feet at 
times there was a couple like a little bit more of a firm spot I would definitely not say icy but it was definitely firm and then one thing that you may or may not notice at Bell Resorts they do have yellow signs on the side of the run that says like rest there's one to our left now in view and it's like a cool little rest spot so if you're like tired or absolutely cooked definitely go stop by there it's just a nice little place so we're cruising down definitely a lot of different skills this person on the right is teaching a kid and then there's people absolutely bl blowing by me people falling it is pretty wild but just head on a swivel not the end of the world but you just got to be watching out for people there is a little pickup park at Breckenridge so big shout out to park crew slash Breckenridge for putting something in for all the dibbers with that said there's a lot of people good vibes good energy nice little flat box and then a nice ride on slash mellow tube we're gonna do a nice little front side 360 out not too bad for the first run of the day we're gonna cruise out of the park look around and then the run is pretty wide here at Breckenridge and then the lift lines were not bad at all I definitely was um, surprised on how many people there was but the lift lines were pretty manageable we're gonna cruise down and get back in line and then this time we're going to Colorado chair which is going to be a six person chair going to almost to the top of the mountain but not quite and then we're gonna do that run all the way back down we are back on the chairlift after about a three or four minute lift line. It was actually not bad at all. It went by pretty quick. Once you get to the top of the chairlift, you have the option to go left or right. We decided to go left. Being higher up in the elevation at the, you know, kind of top of third of the mountain in Breckenridge, conditions felt really good, very placeful. And there was two options here. We could have went right or left. I decided to go left. This is a bit more of a mm, slow zone style run. Definitely intended for ski school, but anybody can ride there I wanted to check it out and it was really good snow condition and coverage was really good here just like below you have this massive wide run and on the right hand side a little bit more playful a little bit more bumps and ungroomed but majority of the run is going to be groomed so if you wanted to adventure out a little bit you definitely have that option which was really cool and super fun now this run is a green run so I was just keeping it smooth mellow and getting a good shot for you all and definitely give me any feedback on what you guys think of this video any ways to make this better because my goal is to make you as awesome as possible and make sure you have the absolute sickest season ever and if you're new to the channel I put out as much content as possible which means I'm putting out videos every day including how to's top to bottoms and vlogs so a little bit of everything for you with that said we're gonna keep cruising down these two runs merged together it gives you a little bit of an option on just switching it up but one thing I'm really excited about with Breckenridge is you have some super long runs and your legs may start to burn which is a good thing yes you might have to take a little bit of a break but I would rather have my legs burn than just ride a short run and be back on the chairlift here this is where that chair five from the previous lap ends up going so on the right hand side you're gonna notice there's some people but we are gonna keep cruising down this time I decided to stay on the left of the run so that you could see what else is happening last run we were on the right side with all the little jibby and playfulness this time a little bit more on the left now a couple a little bit more slow zones a variety of different skills abilities slight little firm spot here and there but again not bad at all been really blown away with the conditions just like Vale uh, in the previous um, section it's the weather has been really wild. It has been 60 degrees. It's been really hard to make snow and they've only been making snow maybe at night and definitely not during the day. So it's been a struggle. So absolutely blown away with the conditions. Uh, this is a medium with run. So you do have a little bit of options as far as like navigating around for being like an early season conditions pretty good. And then when we get to these little slow slash rest zones, it definitely gets a little bit busy and people sometimes stop in the middle of the run or stop in weird spots. So I definitely slammed on the brakes just to make sure it's good. Here, there was a little bit of a bare spot, but not the biggest deal. Simply went around it, and then we're cruising up to the part where there's another um, little slow zone slash rest place, but it does start to get a little bit narrow. I did feel that there was a lot more people around, so I definitely put on the brakes 
uh, one thing that I definitely emphasize is just looking around spatial awareness make sure everything is you just know what's going on at all times now this time I did not go to the park so that you could see what was not in the park so we're gonna cruise on down we're gonna cruise here on the right hand side it does get a little bit wider there is a little bit of a goalie to the right side so I would definitely avoid that for the time being and if you've been to Breckenridge before and you were trying to get back to the five chair you would merge here and then go up and around and the maze would actually be on the riders right hand side that has changed for this season in the foreseeable future the maze is going to be facing the other maids of Colorado chair so just be aware of that which is actually kind of cool because then you'll have the option to either go left or right and the mazes are right there instead of having to go go all the way around so overall I was pretty blown away all right my dudes that is literally top to bottom at Breckenridge and Vale in one day in one video if you're taking the content definitely give it a like and if you want to pick up a Benetech hoodie, they are literally, these ones are dropping any day now. So definitely check the website, press refresh, put it on a bookmark, say so you're first to drop because there's only 50 of them total. And I got four different sizes. So very limited edition, really excited about those. As well as join me on a live stream every single Tuesday and join my Discord if you're looking for any friends to vibe with. We have different sections. It's pretty awesome. Go check it out. And then on that note, you're amazing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.